love these new stickers. <laughs> Well, hello there, friends. Welcome back to the Lair of Stag. This is vlog number two, where I'm showing off some of the inner workings of the art studio. Last week, I uh, had a little issue with the paper curling. I noticed when I was printing, it kept making this clicking sound. And I figured out it was because the corner of the pages were curling up and, uh, rubbing against the print head. And the issue I ended up having was so much waste, um, because I know I did like a really heavy print day where I printed probably like hundreds of sheets and uh, most of them were ruined. I really like the quality of the paper I've been using. I get it from online labels. Unfortunately, I don't know if they had changed something or where they get it, the actual manufacturer. I don't know if they're just a middleman. If they changed something, I felt like it could have been psychosomatic when I was like feeling some of my older stickers I had cut like months prior before that batch of paper. And like, I feel like maybe they could have been a little thinner, the newer ones. The only other things I can think that would be causing this would be humidity, which literally nothing has changed. Um, and I've been using this for well over a year. Like you'd think I'd have the same problem last year if that was the case. So the only other thing is maybe like the grain of the paper. I don't know what's going on, but pretty much what's happening is the paper, once I take the first several sheets off the stack like it just starts curling even within the box and I've tried weighting them down and I, at one point I even had them in a vice grip with uh, stuff on either side to just try to flatten them out um I even tried ironing them at one point and it didn't work but I realized I had two batches of paper from online labels and uh one of them work flawlessly did not have the same issue and the other one all of it which was most of that one shipment had like I probably had like 10 boxes of the paper because I just did a huge bulk order so it was super super frustrating I contacted them and they're really cool and they sent me out some more however it's having the same issue I feel like it's not as bad as that last batch but I'm still having the same issue and I have to like roll the paper around the other way, um, bend the corners back so they don't bend in and catch that print head because what it's doing is it's catching the print head and it's getting ink smeared on the corner of the page and it's like muddying up, I'm, I'm guessing the print head, um, and it's screwing up the registration marks. So everything is miscutting. So like before I would put in like huge stacks and just let it print all day. Now I kind of got to micromanage it and get up several times and fiddle with smaller stacks of paper, trying to roll it. And so I don't have the same issue. I had also tried to change my print head in case it was that. And uh, also tried a different printer. It wasn't that, it, like, it's definitely a paper issue. It kind of sort of sucks because like I just switched over to a different print paper for my prints which I found something else now that I like even better than that that's way more supreme but I gotta get I'm probably gonna switch over to that by the end of the year um but before I was having to like manually feed in each sheet at the time and 
I'd have to get up several times sometimes before it would print and like reseat the paper in the printer. Every now and again I would get lucky and it would print like five in a row, but like with my health issues and the, the, the arthritis and stuff, like that was wrecking me if I had to do like a really big print day, like I had 20 prints going out or something. So, it sucks because I just got over doing that and now it's like, here's this other thing I gotta micromanage. But anyway, this is an axe girl that I, that I made. I wanted to do like a, initially I was thinking like a whole set of like a butcher knife, a meat cleaver girl and then the axe girl but I just kind of went this route and it was kind of like loosely themed Lizzie Borden I'm I haven't made it into a sticker pack so far it's only a sticker sheet but she is out now and fun for the whole family I've recently been trying to learn a new video editing program as I'm going to be teaching I think my daughter to edit videos um, so I want to learn something new and something that's probably a little better to use um, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro before I was using uh, Filmora right now it's like a lot easier to find some assets for this particular program it's not Maybe I just didn't learn how to use Filmora correctly. I don't know. Um, I, I've learned so much the last couple days with trying to figure this thing out. So every couple weeks, I normally have to package more Oracle decks. I sell through them very, very fast. Uh, last year, I got in a huge shipment, more than I normally would have ordered because I was going through them so fast and I'm glad I did it before COVID hit the fan because they probably would have been tied up somewhere for a long period. Like I was pretty much on perpetual like pre-order for these things because I couldn't keep them in stock. But I've been thinking about maybe it's time I'm gonna have to order another another shipment again but like it's so nerve-wracking ordering like that many things because like anything can go wrong in shipment and production and uh, like I've thought about changing things up maybe going for like the version 3 and adding a couple other cards I have variant cards where like people can choose to add them in like I was doing them uh, kind of around holidays I was doing sales and I just throw them in with orders they're just they're not part of the core deck but can be added and supplement kind of um, and I have a bunch of those cards but I was thinking about possibly adding the fairy and the devil cards to the deck which would be kind of neat I wouldn't mind having a box for them either but I don't I don't know that's definitely something I got gotta work out pretty soon if I'm going to do it.
don't know why, but uh, I don't know, packaging the Oracle decks just kind of wipes me out mentally after a bit, because it's just the same repetitive stuff, but normally, it, more than anything, it hurts my back, because I'm just kind of like hunched over doing this stuff. It just, it's so repetitive. I, I did a thing, a thing I was talking about in my last vlog because I was looking for a new printer, but there was a big problem, a big huge wooden problem that I have this thing where I don't really check sizes. I knew it was going to be big. I, I knew that was going to be a thing. I bought a dolly to get it up the stairs thinking, yeah, we can do this and yeah, I, I, I don't think so. So this box sat outside in front of my door, blocking it for probably like four or five hours. And it comes with fusion cores. But anyway, um, I wasn't really sure what to do and I was like calling around for the day because I wasn't getting up the stairs by ourselves. And I ended up hiring a moving company. They were originally going to charge like $400, but uh, the guy was pretty cool and he ended up calling back and I was like, I'm going to be off work soon and we can just do it after hours to save you a ton of money so it's not like on 
like through the company. I was like, okay. So they handled that in like five minutes, but it is the most, mm, like I, I love it. It's so satisfying. See how fast this thing prints. Before I was using uh, my my inkjet to uh, make notepads, which I really don't suggest. It's not, price-wise, it's not very economical, but uh, time-wise, oh my, <laughs> that thing would be printing all day long. It was insane, but, you know, production is, <laughs> like, it's insane now, because I can just print so many pages, like before, like, to do a run of notebooks, like, I was kind of on notepads. I was uh, printing them pretty much all day and then the next day I would do the binding and that was just for like a relatively small run of notepads. Like it's really weird because like I'm kind of like a time traveling thing going on. Like <laughs> I'm doing these vlogs but it's like stuff that's happened in the past and I'm talking about it now and I oh. It's, it's kind of weird because I've already changed the way I do some things, like even when it comes to like packaging in my last vlog or uh, now with the notepads because I actually got a legitimate uh, padding press now. I decided to invest in that to make it a little easier. And I even got some padding compound, but I think I like my mixture that I made before a little better. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to practice a little more. Like, I do have a ton of notepads I gotta make this coming week, because I'm running out in stock. Like, I've had a lot of fun making these things. It's so cool to see, like, a project come to fruition and, like, finish something. And I feel super productive and great. And like with notepads, like I was getting so many reject notepads from like the manufacturer and just now I have more quality control and I end up with all the personal stationery I ever want because I have miscuts or whatever and that, that's fine. It's kind of sort of more of a user error. Sometimes I'll mis mismeasure something when I'm cutting them. But the coolest thing about making them myself is the freedom to do something like I want three different pages in it and I can just do that. And um, I had this extra segment on the end when I'm doing the 3x3 three three notepads that was just wasted because the way I do it, like I cut them off in, uh, in thirds, so I bind them, I guess. Uh, pretty much it was two notepads at a time being bound together and then they just cut them down. But I had this little extra section that I would just get cut off, but it, it was still getting bound just because, and it, it was just wasted because it was blank, so I'm just like, I'll make these little minis, so they're kind of like little mini notepads, like tabs, with like the single mushroom on it. And I, I did that with the, another, my little ghosty ones recently too. One issue I found was, uh, with the new printer, it tends to like, it heats the pages and there's a slight curl to it so they kind of offset in the pile a little bit and it's really hard to get them completely flush up to one another um which can cause issues for cutting so I have to like kind of rock them back and forth a lot trying to get it as flush together as I can so when I go to bind them they're even or cutting them in general because that like it could be like the tiniest little mount 
and it's off and it's like certain pages might be a little slightly askew within the notepad. It's definitely a thing. So it is a lot more work on this end. Like I think I'm gonna get another, I think they may be called a paper jig where it just kind of vibrates the paper into where it's supposed to be. You can put like a stack of paper there. But that that's down the road. I need to stop buying things and filling up the house with all the things. But this is like an insanely cheap uh, um, stack cutter. So it's not perfect. I do want to get something a lot better and I'll probably get like its own designated stand eventually for it because it's heavy. I had a little issue where for a while it wasn't uh, cutting all the way through like the last page and I was like kind of tearing it and then I figured out there's this little bar like a cutting stick because I found I can buy more cutting sticks. I don't know if they're the right size for this because it's a cheap model. Like, I don't know if there's things actually like designated specifically to this, but I'm gonna have to keep more cutting sticks, that little red part on hand. Um, so when I start having an issue, I figured out like we can just take it out and turn it. But I did not learn that from anything that came with this cutter. There wasn't any paperwork whatsoever. I found it by watching bigger industrial cutters and like, hey, there's that red thing in mine. And just kind of, we figured out how to get it out. So that problem was fixed. But there is issues where, like, it's not as sturdy because I feel like it shifts a little bit. So I'm not getting as perfect of cuts as I should be. Up, up to about two weeks ago, this was how I still made notepads. Um, it's funny because when I went to school, I would have had the opportunity to do this, but I didn't get along so well with my uh, graphics art teacher, so uh, I didn't go too much. Um, but I ended up learning stuff like screen printing, which I use today, and I thought that was a pretty valuable skill to learn back in the day. But Mr. X, he actually learned how to do this when he was in school, because he actually liked the print shop. Teacher guy. And, uh... He said at school they used to just put a brick on it. Like on put the notepad on the edge of the table and just slap a brick on it which is kind of cool but I feel like that would be a little annoying because like things could be just slightly off maybe it's just me that has a hard time trying to get things to line up but it's like I just want it to be perfect but with my new padding press like things 
I feel are a lot easier to get aligned and I don't have like this I don't have it shifting when I try to like put the clamps on and like turn it over and do things like it kind of works pretty well and I don't have to worry about these blocks of wood that I just have laying all over now and the clamps which the clamps are nice to have for other things later on so I'm not like it's always it's always great to have random tools like that around like ideally I, I would like for us to eventually get like a bit of a wood shop going and that would be pretty amazing Like the process for making the notepads is incredibly easy and after after I get them all glued together I end up taking them back over to the, the stack cutter and then cutting them down the size but anyways guys thank you for watching I'll be back with another vlog and uh, probably some time lapses I'm also going to be posting uh, some stream footage here shortly too but you can find these notepads and my other things in my Etsy shop and on my website currently because of EU the new uh, VAT laws I'm still really confused over I do not have international ordering on my website, but it's more automatic through Etsy, so maybe I'll talk about that sometime soon. Because I don't like change, and I, I gotta figure it out before I can deal with it on my website again. So I just took down all international order, even though it doesn't affect every country, obviously. But it was a lot easier just to do that than figure out which ones are even in the EU. I don't, I don't even know. It's a mess. Anyways, goodbye guys. Until next time. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook sometimes. And I'm back to streaming on Twitch again. So those links will be in the description as well.